Right, hello there boys and girls, and uh, welcome back to uh, the latest video again on this channel. And today we're going to cover this lovely PlayStation 4 error message, CE34878-0. And what this is, is this is an error which comes up when you have an issue with a crashed application. So, um, this particular machine um, had a blue light of death once over, and upon fixing we have found this error message here. So... Um, it was on System Software 2.03 and it was already initialized. Um, so what we've done is we've installed the latest 2.57 uh, and we've still got an issue. So <laughs> what can you do? Um, well, main thing is, is don't panic. Uh, try restarting console and if that doesn't help then uh, you will have to reinitialize the system. So in order to do that, we're going to go down to settings and we're going to go down to initialization and we're going to initialize ps4 uh, we're just going to do a quick one here say yes to accept that and that's going to go away and that's going to initialize our ps4 again If it's a downloadable title you've got this doing it, um, then you should go into the application management uh, tab and delete that and try re-downloading it from the PlayStation Store. But this particular game we've got is a disc. Um, so as you can see there now, we're just reinitializing. Okay, so we're back to the uh, initialization screen now. Um, we're just going to have a quick run through through this. Not particularly bothered about any of this for now. So that is now going to go away and reinstall our game data of course because we completely formatted the disk. So if you do have something on there that you care about as far as game saves go then make sure they're either synced up to PlayStation Network uh, with your PlayStation Plus subscription or at least take a copy of them onto a USB stick. Okay, and um, we'll just fire this back up. And there we go. So, as I say, that is a, a fairly common one um, on, a, on a machine which has suffered some sort of crash. Um, so, sometimes it happens when it just hangs up uh, and you reboot it and you find that. Uh, but, like I say, commonly you do tend to find it on machines with a blue light of death. Um, so, if you have sent your machine away for repair or you've repaired it yourself and you put it all back together and suddenly you find that, and as I say, just make sure you've got a backup of your game data, uh, you know, your game save data, either onto a USB or sync it up to the cloud on PlayStation Plus. Uh, Reinitialize your system. As I say, we just did a quick one there. Uh, and then when it all comes back up, uh, like I said, just test your game uh, that you're having trouble with. And then, of course, what you'll need to do is, is restore your data back, either from the cloud or from your USB back to the system. Now, of course, the PS4 won't actually restore game save data until... Uh, it has the sort of initial game data installation on the machine. So because the initialization does format the hard disk, what you will need to do is just put all your game disks back in, let it uh, load the initial 
portion of the software onto the hard drive uh, and then it will let you restore your, your game saves either like say from PlayStation Plus or from your USB uh, and then that should be enough to get you back gaming so uh, fear not that one isn't a fatal one and it's nothing to really worry about it's just more the inconvenience of having to make sure you wipe everything uh, <laughs> so uh, I hope that's been useful to uh, some of you and I will see you boys and girls on the next video time for watching bye bye